All right, welcome back to Learning with Merit. This is a quick little to, uh, quick little explanation, actually. Quick little explanation of the code that I wrote in a previous video. Um, so really quick, we have our getrect.py file. Here what we're doing, we're importing the Pygame module and then the built-in module sys. And then from pygame.locals, we're importing everything there. And what this is, is that's our package, that's a little module inside of the package, we're gonna import any everything in there. This piece right here from basically Pygame, we're going to initialize Pygame, that's a method there, and that is starting up the game engine. Here we're creating colors, we're creating black and white using the Pygame color method, and then it is accepting inside here RGB values. You look up what RGB values are, but basically it's red, green, and blue, you combine them in different val in different uh, amounts, and you get different colors. Here, we're creating the game window, and in my uh, in mine, I actually added a icon and a caption. So we have a surface that we want to create. I'm calling it window surface. We're giving it this value. We're saying the Pi game package module display method set mode we're giving it a tuple argument that is the width and height values that we have defined over here then we're going to fill the background of the window surface with the color black that we defined up here this one's just real quick if you want to change the icon or the caption here i'm saying the display we're going to set the icon it accepts this right here so from the package Pygame, the image module, we are going to load, and then we're going to give it the name of a file. And I made a file called getrect.png, which is just a little picture of the square. Then we set the display caption. We're going to set the caption. That's another method to the string getrect. Here we're setting the frames per second using the Pygame time.clock. So Pygame time.clock and then we're actually giving it the tick down here in the main loop. So 60 frames per second is where we're setting that. We're setting that at the end. Then we have our main function, which must be called somewhere. It's called all the way at the bottom of our program right there. You have to call it if you write it, if you want it to run. Then we're going to set up the player rectangle. This comes from this class down here, the player class, which we'll discuss in just a second. This is player one, it is an object, and an object is just an instance of a class, and the class is player. Then we have our main game loop, we have an infinite while loop, so while true, true is infinitely true. We're going to check okay, for each event in a list that is returned from this get method. So for each event in Pygame package, module event it is going to get the events into a list we're going to check every event in that list if the event that we're currently on in this loop is of the type quit then we quit pi game and we exit system after we check that then we go and fill the surface to black order matters we're going to call the player the player class function draw here and we're going to pass it the argument the window surface so it draws it on the right spot then we're also going to call on player one the player class function move and that's going to move the player for that particular frame then pygame.display we update the display we have our fps tick we start the loop over and it continues over and 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 over, okay? Until there's some sort of exit. Here, down here, we've defined our class player. We've created a constructor here with a reference to the object. So self is always a reference to the object or the instance of the class player, all right? We've got self.rect is equal to, basically we're creating a rectangle there. We're telling it here, self.rect.center, we're giving it a tuple that tells it where on the screen. That's 400 by 400. Remember up here is zero, zero. So zero in the X, zero in the Y. Over here 
is going to be 800 in the X, zero in the Y. Down here is 800 in the Y and zero in the X. And down here would be um, 800 in the Y and 800 in the X. Assuming that this entire screen was 800 by 800 pixels. That's not true, mine's 1920 by 1080. And so those values would be different. But if I had something a little smaller, actually 800 by 800, that would hold true. Then we've created a function for the class player called move. You saw us call it up here okay, on the instance of the, of the player class P1. So we have key pressed, which is equal to Pygame package, module key, get pressed function. It is checking for whether or not you have pressed the up, you know, left, right, whatever keys. All right. We're checking here in each of these basically that we're not going outside of the screen. So if self.rec.top is greater than zero, greater than zero. So here is zero in the Y. Up here is zero in the Y. As long as we have a positive Y value somewhere in here, okay, then we will check this next thing. If you've pressed the K up button, okay, if you press the K up button, that's the up key, then it's going to subtract in the Y direction. That means we're moving this direction. We're going toward zero, not away from zero. Here we're checking if the bottom, and I misspelled height here in this code, but that's okay. Um, here we're checking if we're greater than the bottom, so the height should be 800. So here would be 800, assuming that this screen was 800 by 800. All right. And if I want to go towards that, I gotta go down. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add that number. This is zero, this is 800. I'm adding going towards 800, away from zero. All right, same thing here. We're checking and make sure we're greater than zero in the x direction. So here's zero in the x direction. We're making sure we're moving okay, toward that if we're going left. So we're checking that. Then we're checking if we're pressing the left key. Then we're adding, and we're actually subtracting. Sorry, we're subtracting in the x direction, moving towards zero. Same thing with right. We're checking to make sure this is the width, total width over here. We're making sure that we're not past that. As long as we're not past that and we're pressing the right key, we're gonna add seven, moving away from zero and towards the total width. Then we have the draw function on self.surface. Okay, we have the parameters self and surface here. So we're going to say pygame.draw.rect. We're gonna draw it on the window surface. We're gonna give it the color white. And then we're going to call self.rect here, which is up here, where it's defining the rectangle of the rectangle that we're gonna use. Then finally, we call the main function. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense and everything was very clear. Thanks for watching.